welcome to the Namibia Annual Sports Expo. My name is Andrew Poolman and I will be hosting some of the leading administrators of uh, federations affiliated to the Namibia Sports Commission as they will take us through some of the uh, sports codes and what is happening in their sport codes, some of the highlights, some of the challenges and what their sport is all about. Good day and welcome to this edition of uh, the Namibia Annual Sports Expo. So today we're talking tennis. Uh, with us today, uh, Mr. Sam Kaulingi, the longtime president of the Namibia Tennis Association. Uh, welcome, Sam. Thank you very much for, for an opportunity. Um, as you said, my name is Samson Kaulingi. I'm the president of Namibia Tennis Association. Um, so perhaps you can maybe just give us a brief overview of um, your association and the management as it stands at the moment. Mm. Uh, Namibia Tennis Association is the uh, managed tennis uh, in, in Namibia. We have, aff we have affiliated to Namibia Sports Commission. We also have affiliated to international body like International Tennis Federation. So we, we are the custodian of tennis in Namibia. Um, yeah. All right. So um, perhaps you can just give us a little bit of a brief history for those people that don't know about, just a little bit about the history of, of tennis in Namibia mm. up to this point. Yeah. Tennis has been played in, in Namibia for m many years. Um, I think before independence it used to be called Southwest Africa Tennis Association and in 1990 it was renamed to Namibia Tennis Association. So tennis has been played in Namibia for many many years. As way back as the 70s we used to receive um, international tennis players in Namibia, stopping over here before they go and play tournaments in South Africa. So, uh, tennis has been around for many, many years. Um, so, next up, if you can just tell us, or paint for us a picture on what's currently happening in tennis in Namibia. Yeah, T tennis is one of those uh, uh, sports codes that can be played until a person is very old. I think in many places you have got tennis league for 80 year olds. So we cater for tennis from under 10s, those are the junior players, under 10s, under 12, under 14, under 16, under 18, those are the junior category. Then you've got the senior category where everybody above 18 uh, can be regarded as a senior player. Then we've got veterans players who are 35 and older. You can be, uh, we've, got, we've got players now who are 76 years old, they're still playing tennis. So those are regarded as veterans players. Yes. So we, can, we cater for juniors up to, yeah. up to senior level, up to veterans level. I know the junior association is quite active yes. uh, every weekend or other weekend. They have a league going in Swakopmund or in Vanduk or some place where all the kids are traveling and so it's, I think it, it presents good exposure for them. Yes, Junior Tennis is doing very well uh, currently in, in, in Namibia. Um, many, we, we, because tennis being uh, individual sports, we were not really affected by the, some of the restrictions um, uh, that was uh, uh, in place. So even people who stopped playing tennis during the lockdown, they came back to play tennis again. And you, you see that the numbers have gone up. I think the, if you look at the average uh, junior players participating in tennis, this year, we're talking about an average of 80, 80 players per, per, per tournament, which is quite, quite much higher than, than previously, previous years. So the tennis is, is, has gone up very well, but it's doing very well right now. Um, so let's talk about some of the successes that you've been experiencing recently. 
mm. um, at any level of the sport in Namibia? Mm. Our our best success or our this year, we you know we send a team to Davis Cup. Uh, Namibia is in Group Four. Uh, we send a, a team of four players and the coach to 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 to, to participate in the Davis Cup. And basically, we, Namibia won gold, so we have been promoted to to Group Three next year. So that probably our best best achievement this year. Um, our junior players. Davis Cup is a senior tournament, but we decided this year that let's give some potential young players with potential to to be to be from the team, and they did. They have done very well. They have won the gold, and then they, Namibia got won the, uh, got the promotion to the next group. Yeah, in, mm. at the individual level, mm. I think Gornar van Skalkweg also uh, one of the individuals that is making good progress yeah. on the world rankings. Yes, um, in fact, uh, Cody, the, the elder brother of Connor, they both played in the. They were part of the team, um, and they they carried the team. They 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 basically they play, played very very well. Um, I understand that Cody now is studying in the US, but um, Connor is still playing um, uh, junior tennis uh, in in many countries. And he's doing, he's doing, he's doing very well. He just won the the tournament in in um, in South Africa, uh, the under under eighteen tournament in South Africa. He's doing very very well. Mm. Mm. All right. So um, perhaps you can just tell us a little bit about how do you see development going or the path of of developing the sports in Namibia. Yes. Uh, our our objective in tennis is to. To increase participation in tennis all over Namibia, that's that's our priority number one. Um, and how do we do that? We do that through uh, having a specific development program that we have been running for a couple of years now. It's basically having a, a professional coach who is being employed by Namibia Tennis Association, go out to set, uh, areas like Katutura, Komasdal, um, do the coaching. And then if he finds certain children with potential, then do we bring in those children to, for further coaching and this type of things. So we've got a very good development program going on. And then we got also a training center, tennis training center at Eros Primary School in, in Eros, where children with potential can can go into, can stay, can go to the school, stay in the hostel, get coaching before school, and also get coaching after school. So they, that's a, uh, another a level of, of, of tennis development. And then also what we do is we, 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 we send out coaches to conduct coaching clinics for teachers in different parts of Namibia. Um, recently, la last weekend, we had a, 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 a clinic in Ongodiva. We were invited. Uh, Ongodiva Town Council has um, has uh, renovated their tennis course, and we were in, Namibia Tennis Association was invited to conduct a tennis development clinic there. It went, went very well. The number of people who turned up quite quite impressive. So we, we it's development from the grassroots to to an identify talent. Then keep on developing that talent. Mm. Okay, so finally maybe you can just let us know um, for anybody that wants to get started in tennis, how how should how should they get involved? Uh, yeah. The affiliation only tennis, only tennis clubs can affiliate to the NTA. It, it, if you've got a group of people who want to play tennis, what they will do is they form they form a, a, a club, they form a, have a constitution, and then they, they say to NTA, "We want to affiliate to you because there are some benefits 
they will be able to their members will be able to play tournaments and participate in tournaments and all these things so and and the affiliation per individual is 150 namibian dollars per annum that's what NDUJA has to pay to affiliate to the NTA. Um, yeah. All right. So I hope that gave you a, a good picture of, mm -hmm. of uh, what tennis in Namibia is all about. Um, we want to thank Mr. Kaolingi for coming in and having a chat with us today. And uh, so we're looking forward to seeing tennis in Namibia excel. Um, so thanks a lot. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. We can't wait to be together again. But until then, let's stay safe. You know, a few weeks ago, I would never do this on a Saturday morning. Back then, I was standing in line all day. Now it's just like that. Mm, you are using the FNB banking app like I told you. Girl, it saved my weekend. Now I can do all my banking on this. Payments, transfers, checking statements, even opening accounts. Just, just like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I tell you what my husband even did? Even me. Even me. I want to save time with the, what's the name of the app? FNB app. Don't be left behind. Make the switch to the FNB app, online banking or cell phone banking and change the way you bank to change your life. FNB, how can we help you?